Today we are tilling a garden for someone who lives right next to a school that a lot of my friends went to elementary school at. So um, this isn't in uh, my school district, but a lot of my friends from church actually went to this school. So it's kind of cool to see a little bit of history from my friends' lives and also get to till this garden. So you never know what kind of people you're going to meet when you fill in for tractor time with Tim. Hey mom, uh -huh. he has a PhD in biochemistry and soil microbiology from Purdue. Just person you need to talk to. I know. Wow, that's amazing. keep the soil not quite totally powdery. Um, I would try to say why, but he has a PhD, so I'm not going to, uh, to assume anything. That's the most gentle I can till it. Is that tilled enough? There's no way for me to go deeper unless okay. I take, unless no, I make multiple. Now, if I make, multi make a second trip, it'll go a lot deeper. I think it's probably deep enough. Now, you know, you have it however you want it. If it were me, I'd grind it up a lot more, but I want to do it your way. Dad, he has a PhD in soil. Yeah, so he knows it a lot better than me. Make one pass the way you'd normally do it. Let me see it. Okay. And I, we don't have to do a whole pass again. It's Just go ahead and hit it that way. Okay. Stuff like powder. And this would probably, I don't know, though. The weeds just don't grind up much of that. That's okay. Go ahead and hit it that way for the rest of the garden. Okay. And that way next year I'll I'll have a comparison. There you go. Okay. I don't want to do the wrong thing. For no, you. I appreciate that. Dog like likes it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, she's like in a sprint. Dad, how's the dryness? She's, it's um, she's a streak. The dryness is is it's at at the wettest end. It should be tilled, but it's okay. Okay. So you yeah. get a lot of hummingbirds out here yeah, in the garden. Yeah, a few. I get six or seven every year. Go, Nancy, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run a circle and I'll come back and mess with you again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do much. <laughs> yeah. she's, been, she's been, my wife's been through, going through a few health issues, and uh -huh. so she's been kind of neglected and hadn't been exercised like she should be. She's a mini Australian Shepherd, so she's, as you can see, she's yeah, like, a lot of energy. Yeah, uh -huh. a lot she, of energy. She can run. You said that your soil packs and gets really hard if it's powder, if when it rains. So and my concern is, has always been getting that, and it's in my field research trials too, um, getting that rain, you know, right after you plant. Yeah. It's interesting because our soil in our backyard, in our garden, it's that black loam and, oh, that's, and even next spring you can I wish scrape I, it with your fingers. Yeah, this is not, this is not that. It's, it's darker now because it's dry, but I should have been working this ground a lot better over the years than I have, but I just yeah. haven't done it. Priorities, right? But, right. So what did you do for Dow when you were? Um, well, I started out as a field uh, scientist, basically um, doing field research, contracting with farmers and putting out replicated field research. In the last 15 years, I uh, managed field scientists here in the U.S. Wow. So uh, it's, it was a great career. It's a great career. Right up your alley, Katrina. Yeah. We'll stay in touch. Yeah, if you for need sure. any advice or 
want to talk and you've got decisions to make about coursework or anything, I'd be glad to help. This is just the beginning of places we'll take Johnny in 2017. Meeting Rod was a true unexpected blessing. Finding out that he has degrees in the same areas that Katrilla is interested in was amazing, and he's offered to help her through her college career. We really appreciated that. So stay tuned as we will take Johnny to more places and meet more interesting people, especially in Tillathon 2017. But for now, we want to say please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.